Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Visual Studio Code to debug a Go command line application that's inside of a file and not necessarily part of a package. So what I have open here are some sample codes from a book that I'm reviewing. And if we open up this one, 0105, time zone flag function, it's um, a time zone converter command line application. And I was running into an issue where I would be passing in the, the different time zones and it wasn't calculating properly. And so I wanted to open the debugger. However, I didn't want to go in and create a mod init file and move everything around. And so I figured out how I could debug this with just passing in command line arguments using the launch settings in Visual Studio Code. So the first thing that I needed to do was to set a breakpoint, of course. Now with the debugger by default, if you were to click the debugger panel here, the default that you're going to have is launch with package. But if you go to the settings, what you will want to do is to add a launch configuration for launch file. And you can do that pretty easily by clicking the add configuration and then selecting go launch file. And so that's one of the options. And what that'll do is it will give you this block here. So the name of it is launch file. That's the name that's going to show up here in the debugger menu. The type is going to be go the request will be launch, mode will be debug, and then the program is going to be the file that is currently open that you're going to hit function um, or F5 on to open the debugger or start debugging. The next thing that you need to do is to pass in the arguments as uh, an array of strings. So it's going to follow this pattern of whatever the flag is and then the argument that's being passed into that flag. So the first flag for this command line tool is time zones. And then the arguments here are the two different time zones. And so I'm passing in um, America, Los Angeles, comma, America, New York. And it's a comma separated list that is meant to be passed into the time zones. And then I'm switching to another flag, which is the target time. And so I'm passing in the syntax for the target time that I want to do the conversion for. That is actually how you pass arguments to a file that you want to debug. So that way you don't have to do anything else um, with, you know, again, moving around the code and creating a module and all that good stuff. You also can't just type into the command line and run whatever the application is and passing arguments that way and set a breakpoint because they're disconnected. So if, um, well, to give you an example of what that looks like, if I come here and I open up the terminal and I change into manuscripts examples chapter one, and I were to do go run, and then I believe it's 0105 time zones, and then pass in these values here. And I see I've got a breakpoint here. Let me get the arguments that I want to pass in. We'll copy these, put them in double brackets, and then I want the target time to be this. And this is what I originally started to do. I tried to set the breakpoint and then use the terminal to trigger it. But you'll notice that I, you know, that doesn't work. It doesn't hit the breakpoint. So now that we have those arguments set inside of this file, I can now go to whatever file I want to debug, set the breakpoint, and then hit, uh, for me, it's function five, but it'll probably be F5 for you if you have a full size keyboard. That'll launch the debugger. And now I'm, I'm into the debugger and I can see all the different times, the target time and all that good stuff. So if I step into here, it's gonna load this local variable, which is where I was having issues. Um, and then I'll be able to jump around and use the debugger. So that's how you do it. If we go back to here, you need to specify this array of strings as the arguments that are being passed in and create a launch configuration for file to be able to debug Go applications as a file and not a package.